Now, I know this has happened to you from time to time where you get into the field and one of two things occurs. Either you forget your polarizer or you don't have one that fits the lens that you have on your camera. So here's how to take a picture without a polarizer and then fake it when you get into to, uh, to post-processing. Let's take a look now in Photoshop where we have this raw image. Nothing was done to it in the raw converter. I just shot this maybe 10 minutes ago out my back door, and it's a perfect sample to demonstrate what you do. First thing is you come up to Image, Adjustments, and then Selective Color. This is really a very easy process, actually. And up here, you'll see a drop-down list with all these colors. Let's choose blue to begin with. Then we'll come down to the black slider, and we'll go to the right and watch what happens to the image. And you can adjust this however you like. Just come straight down just like that. Now we also look at the cyans and we run that up and that adjusts the image before and after and that does replicate what a polarizer does. Let's now cancel this and start over and do one thing additionally that you might want to try. Uh, go image, adjustments, vibrance, and then take this vibrance adjustment up to about 40, about 50 roughly 50. And what this does is it boosts the presence of the colors, the green on the bottom and the blue on the top of the image. Let's go ahead and hit OK. And then we'll come back and do the same thing again. We'll come to Image, Adjustments, Selective Color. And then again, go to Blue, and we'll adjust the blacks. And you should see a pronounced adjustment in other words, the adjustment has a greater intensity than the one we started with, and that's because we boosted the level of the colors. So if you want to boost the effect, boost the level of the colors. And we're going to go to cyan and do the same thing here, because cyan and blue are very similar. And we'll punch that over there, and uh, before and after. And I think that does a very good job of replicating what a polarizer does on a blue sky. Let's now take a look at the greens and the yellows and see what happens. Now I'm going to direct your attention to these uh, palm fronds right here. And you see the reflection of the direct sunlight on these palm leaves. Okay, and of course, as you know, what a polarizer does is that it cancels out reflections. So let's go ahead and see how this is going to help us. We might do this in two steps. I'm going to take this green and go to the right. And you don't see much of a reaction because strangely enough, when you want to do an adjustment on green, you go get the yellow slider. Don't ask me why. That's just the way it is. We're going to go ahead and come in on that just a little bit. And you can see how that darkens those colors. The other thing that a polarizer does is that it cancels the reflections on all surfaces just about. And it helps intensify the saturation of the colors by removing the reflection. Sometimes the human eye doesn't even uh, see it. It's not obvious, but it is there and it does help to intensify the colors. And again, we can fake it by just using these adjustments. Now let's hit OK and go to another software title to help us, and that is Adobe Camera Raw. But I use Adobe Camera Raw only as a filter within Photoshop. So let's take a look at how this is going to work. And we're going to try to reduce the reflection right here, right here, and right here. Let's just see what happens. I haven't tried this before, so we're just going we're gonna to adjust it and see what happens. And that's working on the sky and the clouds more so than it is the palm fronds, but it is reducing it a little bit, so it's worth doing. But you can see that it's also increasing the definition in those clouds. Yet another benefit of using a polarizer is when it does cancel out reflections, it boosts the detail in an image. Let's go ahead and hit OK to keep that. And so now this is before and this is after before and after, and we haven't adjusted the brightness or the exposure. All we've done is make adjustments on the black slider within a few colors in the selective color slider. Let's look at another image, and let's see if we've got this one in here. And yes, we do. Let's take a look at this one. And this one, I think, will give you a little more dramatic results. So we're going to come up to Image, Adjustments, 
vibrance. I'm going to boost the vibrance up to 50. And you saw how the, the blues popped like that. Okay, then we're going to do the same thing again. Image, adjustments, selective color. Let's add some black to the blues. And look at that. That is a really good result. Go up to cyan. When you adjust the blue, always adjust the cyan as well because that completes the spectrum around blue. And man, that looks real good. Now, there is a slider in here that it doesn't work as well as it should, but let's add black to the whites and see what happens. You can see how that just muddies things up. I don't use this as, as much as I guess I could. You'll get a much better result if you go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter, and let's use the highlight slider and come back just a little bit. See, that's a much better result. It'll give you that artificial appearance. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. And then we have before and after. And there you have it, how to fake it when you leave your polarizer at home or you don't have one to fit the lens you have on your camera.